At this point, it looks like we've got this burner tuned as well as, as we can get it uh, with this configuration. We haven't done anything to smooth up the ends of the slots to a knife edge as been suggested. Uh, there's no flaring of the of the barrel bell uh, where the flame exits. It's just a straight cut piece of tubing or pipe. Uh, the choke uh, hasn't been flared at all and nor has the um, the bell that the pipe screws into. So we're going to have to clean things up a little bit and we'll show a few pictures of uh, the steps we take as we go on here. Okay, here we have the, uh, the pipe or the barrel or the burner barrel and you can see that we have a nice round end on it and the thickness of the pipe. This is something we have to fix up a bit to, uh, to make the burner work a little better. What we're going to do is, is file the end of it square like this so that we get something to work for and uh, now we're going to try and put a little bit of a knife edge on it. Here you can see we've got a uh, knife edge at the top and it's still squared off at the bottom. Uh, we're going to have another look at that from a different angle here. We'll flip it the other way up. Now you can see the filing that's gone on to make the knife edge there and uh, and that's what we want in all four slots. To try and get the air to s flow smoothly. Okay, now we're going to have a look uh, down the tube and just see what it looks like in there. Here you can see we're, we're moving down from the top and the back where the burner comes in and we can see where the filing's gone, where we filed the, the knife edge at the end of the slots. Just for, for fun of it, we're going to go down the tube to the bottom and you can see that the, uh, the the grooves there. We've ran a, a boring bar through here to clean up the inside of the pipe, but it's not what I'd call a, a really nice finish. We'd have to uh, we'd have to run a hone through there or something such as like that to to clean it up and make it nice and smooth. I don't know whether a little roughness like that might be an advantage to help the gases mix, but somehow I I really don't think so. We're coming back here and uh, we'll pass by, uh, just if you look at the top, you'll see a little hole there letting some light in here. And that's where the threaded hole is for the the choke tube uh, lock screw. I'm not so sure that uh, I like that either. But there's uh, another view of the knife edges we filed. It could, looks like that one on the bottom left could be just stroked a few times just to take that little knob off of there. And we'll come back up here to the end. And when we get back up into the bell, you'll see the the polished ends of the three set screws I put in there to uh, to enable me to clamp the burner jet tube in place. Okay, here we have uh, three welding tips for a MIG welder. They come in different lengths and shapes and sizes. This is a long one here that, that seems to be working the best. And then there's a shorter version. And here we have one that's been modified. You could do that by putting it in a drill and using some sandpaper or something. I, I used a lathe, but anyway. Then the bell reducer that we used, um, this is fine but uh, it works better with this modification here 
it's just been squared up on the end and uh, put a bit of a taper here. I think that was 10 degrees. And the other thing is when you make the choke, you end up with a square end like that. And the recommendation was to make it a bit of a bell. So I just cut a taper in there and that's, that's probably at 5 degrees there. Bit of a flare. I don't know if you can see that or not. Then we have the the nozzle, and there again the first test you saw. The uh, this was just a straight pipe here. What we've done is we've cut this on about a five degree angle and and flared it out about as much as we can, and still have some material left. So that's the the pieces. Then up here we have the piece of brass tubing, just a pipe nipple, four inch a piece of brass pressed in the end, drilled and tapped to hold the welding nozzles, made it that way so I could change them. You can see the dramatic difference in tuning ability with this this end of the uh, bell nozzle here and the burner tube from the previous video. We're actually able now to get enough air to flow, to blow it out at 15 pounds on the gauge. Move this back. That's all for now, folks. Thanks for watching. Uh, it's been fun so far, and uh, I'm looking forward to suggestions on improving this yet. And uh, we're going to move up to maybe a one inch or an inch and a quarter burner and see how that works out. Thanks again for watching. Bye bye.